this is Victor, I'm here with a new product review and this time I want to share with you this um, basic material that arrived um, to me from Rival Craft, okay? Well, I, it arrived with one of the purchases I did on Mini Hobbies and the, the shop where I normally buy my stuff and they put this inside of my box so I just want to share with you these things okay, so these are like, uh, if you know the turf that you normally put, but this is like the shape of the base directly, okay? So we have uh, some, let me just remove this out of the box. So you have this, goes with this presentation, where you have already the green thing, and you have some um, stones and some turf put there, okay? So the cost of this is the normally these ones here, uh, the wrong bases, and they have a, several, uh, mm, colors and they have a lot of, of different type of terrains okay so I recommend you go you go to the website you have it here so www.rivalcraft.co.uk okay and there you can find um, more about them okay so you will find uh, they have all materials here I just want to review this type of base terrain toppers okay so how this works here you have some, this is costing, the price of these ones here is $5.95 and these ones are, um, the ones that are for bigger bases are uh, $6.95, one euro, uh, one, one pound, uh, so $5.95 pounds, $6.95 pounds, okay, so this is one, one pound more expensive. They go well protected, I don't see any problem, you can see. The package is quite good. They say that it's recyclable. Okay, this PET um, material. And what uh, I'm going to show you is how this looks. Okay, when you apply it to the base, this is how it will look like. Okay, so you glue it on top of the base. I think they are adjusting quite nicely. But you can see in these ones, well, you lose a little bit of the things. These is things that are just glued like a, in a glue, uh, in an adhesive glue. And then you will put your guy on top of that. Okay, so this guy is, is the castella. I'm going to put it like that. Okay, so you can see. So it will go like that. I'm going to show you how to one works. Okay, I'm taking here a base from one of my stone catheters. These are the 40 millimeters, so these are good for a, um, I will say. Uh, Stormcast Terminator Marines. So here you have the presentation. So what you do, you very carefully, you have to. This is glued to the to the paper, so you can see it will not come off easily. So what I'm going to do, I take it from here, and now I help myself very very carefully. You have to take like a sticker, but it's quite can be quite brittle, so you take it very carefully out of here okay in this case you see this is the one of the problems you can have and then you put it on the base if this happens I will, uh, we can just do we use a little bit of PVA glue and put it back so I went for my PVA glue this is the standard cast fold so you just Put a little bit of PVA and we put it back to one side because it's better on one side so it's not like that. Okay, and then we are going to glue the miniature like that on top. Okay, so this hole looks like well, let's have a glue tag this way, it could be get glue. So let me just zoom in, you can see the texture how they look like, so this is how the bases look like ok, this is called and it was here these are called the autumn boots ok so it's really, um, if you want to do more brown like, look like bases, I think it's nice they have a nice texture you have some tarp and, and, and all the colors very well integrated yeah, you will see that they give a little bit of dust, but it's okay. I think it's quite a nice product. Um, it's not super cheap, 
is not super expensive. Like, and these are the other ones, the, the, the oval were from the same type of pack. I like more these oval ones maybe. These are ideal for Bretonians or Mintus like that. These are called um, Autumn Moors. Okay? These were the, auto, first, uh, were the Autumn Woods and these are the Autumn Moors. But this is like grass, right? So it's up to you how you want to use it to be fair. But I think it looks like nicely. Here we can put this guy for example. Okay, so it will look like that. You have to be careful these ones. If a cavalry, you have to see how you place them, okay? But it's, it's quite nice. They have, uh, this company have a lot of different basing materials. They have a lot of good ideas that are quite interesting. Here I just want to share this product because I received it and I thought that was worth it, the review. So that's all what I want to share here. Please let me know what do you think about this product so you can see here the base, how it looks like, okay? Looks like quite nicely integrated everything. Uh, you can remove if you see that there is something that is falling apart, but it's it's not going to be a, a, a problem, okay? These are, and I think they will look great once we put a painting miniature on top, okay? So you can also see um, uh, more pictures in the website. So that's all what I want to share here. I just wanted to share with you because it's the first time I see this type of product. I wanted to test it and I wanted to share it with you so you also can have another idea. Not super cheap, but yeah, you have a basing in just one step. So that's all for now. Please give a like if you have liked this video and as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.